Well, praise God. This is Pastor Jeff. I just have the most wonderful assignment from my dear friend and sister in Christ, Hillary Maroney. She said, I would like you to do a short video on the issue of rejection and then the Lord saying, I am the resurrection and the life. And indeed he did and he is. He is who he said he is. I could just point you to, even before we read this, in the book of John in chapter 11. We'll read it shortly, but I also want to point you to Matthew 28, 18, where the Lord, at that point, the risen Christ, having been walking around Galilee and Israel um, 40 days shortly before he ascended, he says, verse 18, Matthew 28, 18, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Well, that is the authority for resurrecting life. That's exactly what he came to do. He came to repair the, the curse. The curse had been planted on all humankind at the time of the disobedience of Adam and Eve. And we read that in Genesis 3, chapter 15. And to cure that horrific curse, incredible curse. No human could do that. You were born a child of wrath, like it says in Ephesians 2, verse 3. We were, that by nature, under that rebellion, you and I are born children of wrath. And the same time in Christ, when we come into his kingdom through repentance, that was his first word that he preached, Matthew 4, 17. So in other words, more than just playing church, you have to get into the kingdom. You have to convert. You have to change your thinking. You have to realize, Lord, I apologize. I blew it. I went the wrong direction. I want to follow you on your narrow path into your kingdom. I believe you rose from the dead. You are the Lord, God Almighty. And when you do that, you receive the Holy Spirit. And you are then healed. You are then healed of the curse. And so the curse has been healed by Christ by his blood on the cross. Let's read this in John chapter 11. You no longer have to feel rejected because you are loved by God. He did this. If you were the only single human being on the planet, he would have done this for you. That's how much he loves you. Forget about rejection in the world. Yes, the world can reject you, but the almighty God who created you before the creation of the world and or in your mother's womb, loves you more than you can realize. Go to him. Go to him today. Just get right with him. And you will get the love and you'll begin to heal your soul and your mind and be filled with the abundant love. That's the number one fruit of the Holy Spirit, which you will receive when you come into the kingdom. Now look at his word. I love this comes up when it was very clear that, uh, I love this story, the death of Lazarus. And I'm going to start reading in verse 17. This is John 11:17. 17. It says, so when Jesus came, he found that he had already been in the tomb four days. Lazarus had been dead for four days. And now Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles away. Many of the Jews had joined the women around Martha and Mary to comfort them according, um, concerning their brother. And then Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went out and met him. But Mary was sitting in the house. And now Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Yes, what an understandable reaction. And then she says in verse 22, but even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Well, wow, that's a beautiful statement of faith. Yes, she's upset. Nonetheless, she had some faith. And Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Wow. So we now look at verse 24. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again. In the resurrection at the last day. Wow, what a setup for a perfect comment by Jesus. It says, Jesus said to her, verse 25. So this is John eleven twenty-five. 25. I am 
the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. That's for you, my friend. Forget about rejection in the world. Go to the, go to the risen Christ. Go to the resurrection and the life. I'll read this again. This is verse 25. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? This is what Jesus said. And she said to him, yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God who is to come into the world. Praise God. I hope that blesses you. It's the word of God. Claim it for your own life in Jesus' name. Until next time, God bless you.